Hey guys, it's Stell back here bringing my first video of Modern Warfare 3 on the release night. I'm going to start this video off with a quick tip here. Um, and as this, this match is loading up here, we're going to talk, well, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So you'll notice up there in your upper left hand corner is your map. Um, now, as you're looking at this map, I'm going to zoom in here real quickly here. You'll notice that the buildings there are shaded two different colors, white and then that blue color. The white shaded buildings indicate what buildings you cannot go into. There's no way of going in and out of those buildings. However, the blue shaded buildings are the ones that you can go into. Um, so next time that you're traversing your, the, the terrain there, use your map to help you easily get in, in, in and out of spaces and uh, get over to the map other parts of the map quickly. Uh, that's a quick little tip and let's move on to the rest of the gameplay. Alright, as this match is loading up, uh, um, starting here, I'm going to let you know that this is my first opportunity to actually use the theater mode. I, I recorded this with my PVR after the fact. And uh, during it, the first chance of using it, it didn't disappoint. It worked the way it was supposed to, so that's good to report, I guess. Alright, right here, I, you know, I'm still new to this map here, so I do a little bit of campy whatever here. I'm inside this building here, right off the spawn, the lower level here. And I'm trying to sit up in the choke points on this map, and this is one area of it. Um, not too much, a little bit on the right hand side that I'm aiming right now, but mostly it's right here, right off the side of that Conix box. I find a lot of my kills, at least right here in this little uh, situation here, um, come from right on this side. So I scoop up my UAV, get that up there, and I notice, I notice now when I'm playing uh, this, and I've used the UAV a couple of times, the UAV actual the the, the, uh, the the action of pushing the button seems to take longer, at least to me. Maybe it's not take longer than what the UAV was like in Black Ops. Now I can't remember what MW2 was like, but in Black Ops it seemed to be really in, oh practically instantaneous. However, in this game it seems a bit a little little more delayed. There's a little bit more action to it. All right, I'm zooming up here, trying to follow my map here, uh, trying to see where guys are, and I almost missed this dude, but his buddy gets scoops me up. I have an issue, and it's pretty much happened uh, throughout the entire thing. Now, let me talk about this since this is going up here real quickly here. This seems to me, and I think I'm right here, the controls for the Predator missile are backwards from Modern Warfare 2, at least on the, the thumbsticks, so the direction of it. You have to use the other thumbstick, so it takes a little bit of practice to actually get it right. So back to what I was saying, I get in trouble with my map sometimes because I sit there and kind of watch that more often than I should be. So be aware of that. If you're a, a map whore like I am, be aware of that you can easy, easily uh, use the map and, and get a few deaths that way. Alright, right here I'm on the catwalk stuff, catwalk area right here. I don't recommend coming out here. You're an instant target. They can shoot up through you and they can see you um, very easily through the gates, so, so the grate there. So I uh, and also too, there's multiple angles for them to shoot at you once you're on top of that catwalk. So my advice is not to go up there unless you are going on the catwalks to get a kill and then quickly coming off. So I'm back here at my choke point area when I know this is one of the hot areas that they like to like to come off to the left of me and to the right of me. I try to pop a uh, grenade there to see if anybody's home, and unfortunately nobody is. I notice on my map that they're starting to come up on the far left side. I'm going to help out my buddy out here. So I think he... Oh, I get, I get him right here. Now, I'm using the M4A1. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, let me tell you, this: the gun doesn't actually sound like that. <laughs> it's, that. That is no way near what the actual M4 sounds like. I'm sorry. Um, it's a much shorter barrel, so the sound of the weapon is very... Uh, I don't want to say the word uh, uh, suppressed is not the word I'm looking for, but it doesn't sound that beastly at all. Uh, in fact, when you're actually shooting out, out of it, the sound that I hear the most of when I was shooting the weapon, even in the M16, was the sound of the spring in the buttstock, the buffer spring that actually absorbs the shock as the bolt goes to the rear as you fire, fire the weapon. That is the sound that I heard was that thing moving back and forth more time, more than the actual sound of the, of the bullet leaving the rifle cell. So little useless tidbit of information there. Um, once again, I, I'm, I'm trying to be cautious when I'm out here in this, this particular map because I don't know where I am. I don't know this map very well. And unfortunately, I didn't even bother to look. I don't remember the name of the damn map. So I'm trying to be very, very cautious here. And I see they're starting to come up here. I thought that would give me a double kill, but I guess I was a little bit too late with this. Here's my second chance with the Predator Missile. And I try to get a guy, but nobody's home. But as soon as I do it, I get killed. 
Uh, that's just telling me that I need to find a better place to set up my Predator missile when I get into the kill streak. So, I gotta get used to that again because I haven't played with Predator missiles in such a long time. But I'll get it back. I'll get I'll get it fixed. I I, I swear to you guys. Uh, I didn't even notice it until I started recording this. That I guess somebody got an AC-130. Um, I don't know. I didn't I didn't get hit by it, and I think that was mostly because of the map is pretty tight with buildings all around here. So let's get into some other things here. What are my thoughts on this? Since I've only played maybe 15 matches or so, as you see, I'm camping and waiting for guys to show up. Honestly, to tell you the honest to God truth, right now. A little disappointed, a little bit disappointed, uh, in the sense that this just seems a glorified MW2 map pack to me. Um, Game Informer actually used those words in one of their later latest uh, um, articles about this game. Uh, graphically, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, Weapons-wise, they look pretty much the same, except for obvious different, you know, side we or secondary weapons and things like that. Um, and also, and also too, this is the same damn red red dots site that we had. Now I understand if it's a real one or not. I don't know. Let's, for the sake of argument, say it's a real one and stuff like that, and it's accurate. Well, you know what? You had that exact same one in MW2 over two years ago or whatever it was. You could at least have a better design, something one, something just to change it up a little bit. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing. Another thing that I noticed that I thought it was a little like, eh, whatever. Uh, was the whole title and em emblem stuff that you get when you uh, on your title, your name, stuff like that. They introduced that in Modern Warfare 2, but Black Ops, when that came out, took it a step further and made them look really nice um, with the zombie ones and different other things that you can build off of and stuff like that. that. They took it a really nice step with that. Well, they're back in this game. Well, you look at them and they're, they're not good looking. They look like crap. Uh, to me, um, they're, they're really a step down from what Black Ops offered to us, at least on those things. Now, you might guys say hate on me for being nitpicky and stuff and Debbie Downer on this kind of stuff, but none of this stuff is game breaking I issues for me. In fact, I really do like the game. I guess I was expecting something different um, than what this game is, but it's still going to be fun. Will Battlefield break this game? No, especially with some of the issues that are happening in the Battlefield uh, game. Go over to Wings page and check out that latest one. Uh, this is still will reign king, and and I'll probably play this the majority of the time than Battlefield 3. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys uh, learned something with a little quick little tip. When things like that happen, I'll make sure to bring pass more on to you. Take care.